Okay, so one of the first tricks you really ever teach your dog is to shake hands. It's generally one of the first ones we ever teach them. But this one is actually the basis of um, waving goodbye. And then we want to get some duration on that too. So it's quite cute, you know, if you get your dog to sit and wave goodbye to people, it's quite a cute one to do. Um, so Alfie's here in his little trick box. So shaking hands, Alfie sit. Good boy, paw. Yes, good. So his has paw, and I just put my hand up that paw. Yes, good boy. And then he gets his treat. Cool, and then we have waving, wave. Yes, good boy. Cool. And then you can get some distance on that behavior too. So if you haven't got the shaking the paw yet, I'll quickly run through that because you might not. As there's a couple of ways of doing it. What you can do is um, have a treat ready and tap their paw. Yes. And then they usually pick their paw up. So you tap it. <laughs> yes, good. And to be honest, actually, I don't really care which paw it is to start off with. Yes, good. And then I'll start to put a word into it. So this is one way you can teach to shake. Yes, good. Nice. And then you start to put a word into it. Paw, yes, good. Another way you can you can do it as well is physically um, pick up the paw from the ground and say paw, yes, and then give them a treat. So you're physically manipulating them or modeling them. So I might want to do the other paw. So I pick it up, paw, yes, and give treat. So as you can see, it's not really a normal thing. And it's uh, the dogs aren't really thinking when you're modeling them. So it can, um, it's not the best method of teaching, but sometimes it's, it's one of the easier ones for them to get it into their head. Um, oh, paw, yes, good dog when you hold on to it and give a treat, good boy. Now to build this into a wave goodbye, what you want to do is have your paw visual, and my visual is a flat hand, but you start to either move it up depending on your dog or move your paw away. So they're actually trying to get your hand a couple of times. Yes, good boy. So I'm not gonna put a word into it. I'm literally just gonna do my visual because he knows his visual really well. So if you don't know the poor visual for shake or poor whatever you wanna call it first, make sure that the visual is taught um, so you can bring it into the waving behavior. So again, I'd put it away a bit further. Yes, and he's, when he's done a couple of poor movements to try and get my hand, I'm just gonna either click or just say yes and give a, give a reward. And then you can do it a bit higher too. Uh, yes, good, good boy, nice, good boy. And again, have your cue for four. Alfie, sit, good boy. Yes, good boy. And then you'd start to put a verbal onto it. So I'd be wave, wave. Yes, good boy. Then you'd start to, once you put the verbal in, I'd then change my visual, wave. Wave, yes, good boy, good boy, good boy, wave, yes, good boy. Now to get distance on anything it's, and duration is a really hard thing in dog training. So what I like to do with um, distance is literally you just nudge back a little bit further away each time. So I'll be like, Alfie sit, yes, wave, or oh, you're nearly off your box. Good boy, good boy, yeah, Alfie sit, good boy. That's not sitting, Dylan. Sit. Yes, good boy. Then you just step back a little bit further and then wave. Wave. Yes, good boy. And then you literally start to build up distance. So um, if a dog fails twice, that means it's too hard. So go back to where it's easy and then um, you'll be able to nudge forward a lot more quicker, if that makes sense. So wave goodbye, Alfie. Bye. Bye. <laughs> good.